This class will help you discover your passions. Taking the Women in Leadership class will give you the opportunity to network and make connections. Okay, <laughs> we're on our way to Montgomery as a class for an exciting adventure. Yay! <laughs> Terry Sewell and Martha Roby at the Capital City Club. Can you tell me your it's name club. and your year at Auburn University? My name is Amanda Weir and I'm a junior at Auburn. I'm Elizabeth Rattos and I'm a sophomore at Auburn. I'm Mercedes Linton and I'm a junior at Auburn. I'm Emily Copeland and I'm a junior. I'm Lina Robinson and I'm a junior at Auburn University. Why did you take this class? Because I wanted to promote leadership amongst the young girls of our nation, and especially from Ground Roots at Auburn, where I'm connected. So. Fabulous. I wanted to learn more about how to develop my leadership skills and my friend told me it was fun. Oh, good. Who's your friend? Chelsea Bohannon. <laughs> All right. Um, Chelsea. <laughs> Same as Elizabeth, I wanted to learn more about you know developing my leadership skills, and it'll also help me with my women's studies minor. Fabulous. Um, I wanted to make connections between the Women's Leadership Institute and the Women's Resource Center here at Auburn University. Well, my reason. <laughs> Tell the truth. I looked online and I thought it would be an interesting class, and I thought it would help me not only professionally but um, for my leadership skills. We're out for a great adventure. Dr. Baker, do you have anything to say about this exciting adventure? I have to concentrate on my driving. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I thought I'd, I'd just let you know how honored I am to not only represent Alabama and this great nation, but to do so as a woman. You know, I think that... Uh, our work is just not done. Um, and so I really want to leave you with that message that we still have lots of work to do. You know, as long as we only have six women governors in these wonderful United States of America, we still have work to do. Martha and I are one of, uh, I think, 80 out of 435 uh, women who serve in Congress. There are only 80 of us, so that's 17%. So there's still a, a lot of work to be done.